Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to do some vibe coding on Raspberry Pi with Gemini. Now, I'm going to do this on my Raspberry Pi 5, but you could really do this on a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 3. I just thought this would be a fun way for us to play some games, learn a little Python, and do some vibe coding and AI all using Gemini. Now, let's get started. To get started, we're going to open up our internet browser and we are going to go to gemini.google.com. I'm already logged in. This is a free account. I'm not paying for the extra Gemini. This is Gemini 2.0. All right, so let's get started with code in Python, uh, rock, paper, scissors, game. And let's see how it does. Play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Your choices are rock, paper, or scissors. What we're going to do is we're going to hit copy and I'm going to use Programming Genie. And this is Genie, so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste all that code in here. Save, and I'm gonna make a new folder called Games. Let's put this in the Games folder, and we're gonna call this Rock, Paper, Scissors.py. And I'm gonna hit Enter, which will save this. It is now saved, so let's just play this game. So I'm gonna hit the Run button over here, and it says choose rock, paper, or scissors. I'm gonna choose paper, and it's a tie. Computer chose paper, press return to continue. All right, if you wanna play this again, I'm gonna choose scissors this time, enter. Computer chose rock, computer wins. There you go. And that is the game, and that was really simple. So let's try something kind of fun. All right, I don't know if you're fans of Big Bang Theory. I know I am, so I'm gonna say, hey, uh, write Python code game for rock, paper, scissors. Let's see if it knows uh, lizard, Spock. Let's see if it knows that. Plays a game of rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock with the user, and it knows which one beats which one. Excellent. And it gives me how the code works. It did know that game. I'm gonna hit the copy button, go back over to Genie here. I'm gonna start a new program, right click, hit paste, save it. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, dot, PY, enter, and then let's play the game. So I'm gonna choose Spock, and the computer chose lizard, computer wins. Now we can play this again, hit run, I'm gonna choose lizard, and the computer wins again. All right, and that is rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, from Gemini, a new chat. The next game is gonna be a number guessing game, code in Python a number guessing game where the user guesses a number between one and 10. Plays a guessing game with the user between one and 10. Welcome to the num number. I'm thinking of a number between one and 10. It gives you some attempts. Let's try this. I'm gonna copy the code. I'm gonna use uh, something different this time. I'm gonna use Thani this time. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste the code in there. You still have to save number game.py. Hit enter, save, and then I'm gonna hit the run button. And it says, I'm thinking of a number between one and 10, take a guess. I'm gonna choose five, enter, too low, try again, seven, too low, nine, too high, eight. There it is, I guessed the number eight in four attempts, and that is the game. What I don't like about the way it's coded is that the number 10 is hard coded on here. What if I wanted to change the upper limit? Let's go into Gemini and say, hey, recode this game to use a variable for the upper limit number instead. And I'm going to hit enter. To change the upper limit, modify the value assigned to upper limit variable. Let's copy this code and let's go back to Tani and let's do a new and right click. I'm going to paste, place a number, secret number, upper limit. We need to define this upper limit. It's set to 20. Let's change it to 100 now. Save and now let's run and let's see. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Too high, too low, too high. Congratulations, I guessed the number 35 in five attempts and it was with 100 and that's how it works. So now you can change this. Let's say we don't wanna make it quite as challenging and we wanna change it to 50. And now we're gonna save and run and now you have to guess a number between one and 50. And if you don't wanna play, just hit stop. That is the number guessing game written by Gemini in Python. Let's try a new game with Gemini. Write Python code 
for a memory game with a GUI with a four by four matrix. And here it is. It's using Tinker library and it explains to you how it did it. It will open a window with a four by four memory game. We are going to copy code and we're going to use terminal. So this is a great time to practice your terminal commands. I want to see what I have. I've got LS games. I'm going to CD into games and I'm going to nano a new game, uh, memory game.py. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that code in there. Control X to exit. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to hit the Y key to save. Hit enter to write the file name, memory game. And now we're going to do Python memory game.py. And there is our GUI. So this is the letter D, H. And if you click them too fast, like I'm doing right now, it will stay lit. Maybe I'll click a little slower next time, but you kind of get the gist of this memory game. It did pick letters, I noticed. Let's try this again. And let's say, hey, ask Gemma Recode to uh, use animals instead of letters. Let's see what happens there. Animal memory game. Here's what's really funny about this animal list. It's trying to use emojis, but it can't read the emojis that it has chosen. So now I'm going to get some errors here. I don't think this is going to work. Code animals in text instead of emojis. Okay, so now we have dog, cat, bear, rabbit, lion, tiger, elephant. I think this is going to work a little bit better. I'm going to hit copy. We're going to go to our terminal again. We're going to nano memory animals.py. I'm going to hit right click. I'm going to paste this down. Hit control X to exit letter Y to save, enter, and I'm going to Python memory-animals.py. Elephant. Elephant. Okay, I got a match. Once again, I've clicked too fast, so uh, that's pretty much the end of my memory game. This is the Python memory game as written by Gemini. Let's say you don't like one of these animals. You could change it to whatever animal you wanted it to be. So let's go back into, I'm using the up arrow key and I'm going to nano memory. We are going to go and let's change the animals now. So instead of dog, I could change this to butterfly. I could change this to bee. I could change this. We can make insects instead. We could change this to snake, change this to whatever we want. Control X to exit. Yes, I want to save the modified buffer. Enter and let's Python memoryanimals.py. And let's B is now a choice. Butterfly is now a choice. Tiger, B. Okay, so let's do B and B. And you kind of get the gist of this. Snake, butterfly, I think butterfly was over here. Butterfly. And then panda, panda. And there we go. I played the game. I won 15 attempts. Woohoo! Look at me. Okay. And that is the memory game using animals. You could continue to modify this either on your own or with Gemini. And that was coding using Gemini, fun games in Python on a Raspberry Pi 5. This is part of a larger series. So if you want to see me do the same project, but on different AIs, please do check out the series. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.